G'day and welcome to the Rabalo 206 Cayman. I love these boats. I love Chaparral boats. And this boat, the Rabalo, is actually built by one of the biggest boat builders in the world, about 46 years in manufacture. That's the Chaparral Group that also make Rabalo. This is a great little combination boat. It's an excellent fishing boat. It's a great casting platform. It's got offshore credibility, but it's got plenty of inshore use as well. Honda Outboards, just have a look at them. I think they really take the prize as probably the best looking motor on, on the market today. And I've got to say, possibly one of the quietest as well, in my opinion. I've got to say, I really like the convertible way, particularly the Americans do their boats. I guess it comes out of the, the bass fishing style technology. You've got a lift up seat here, you've got plenty of storage, and that's in both sides as well, so there's a ton of storage there. But convertible, so as you can work, walk right up on it as a casting platform, live bait tank in the middle, and it basically replicates the other side, and there's a convertible bait board to boot. How's this for a really well laid out console? It's got plenty of room for everything, lots of facility, but lots of comfort. This is a really comfortable boat to operate for a long period. Everything's in your face. There's room for big Garmin electrics in this one. Uh, and the thing I like, just even little inserts, so as you can put your phone down, all your bits and pieces, cup holders, all your instruments, switch gear, neatly laid out, and a good little protective windscreen for if it does get a bit cold or rough fishing platform for lure casting or even one thing that these boats are really good for is for fly casting as well because there's very few catch points and that little bit of lip works like a casting basket keeps your fly line in place without going overboard it's a ripper we saw the 206 Cayman and the whole Cayman series really as being a um, Northern Territory, Northern Queensland target market, but surprisingly we're selling these boats into Victoria for a lot of the inland operators, um, South Australia, Western Australia. It's been a surprise just where it's ended up. So um, I still would like to see more of these up north, uh, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Well, the Rabalo 206 Cayman's a really interesting boat. It's a little bit hard to define when you first look at it. Is it a bay boat? Is it a flats boat? Is it a blue water sport fisher? Well, in actual fact, it's a little bit of each. So it's a, it's a crossover boat, and it's a crossover boat that actually manages to pull that off quite well. X factor on this boat, well, it's only a 20 foot boat, but when you're on this boat, you'd probably think that you're more on the sort of lines of a 23 foot boat or a 24 foot boat. It's got a massive footprint on the water, and uh, yes, yeah, space is evident. When it comes to performance, the Rabala is fitted up with a 135 horsepower Honda four stroke. Now, it's a relatively small motor for that size boat, but it pushes it along pretty well. Very good economy, and they are rated up to 200 horsepower. But for somebody that's looking for an adaptable boat that can get out on a uh, bay or even onto the ocean on a good day, up into the creeks, it only draws sort of 12 inches. So somebody that's looking for a, a boat that fills all those categories, they are going to find it, it it's good value. So in terms of comfort and finish, the Rabala is exceptionally well done. It comes from a big company in the US that prides itself on its finishing. In terms of features, it has a lot. Three live bait tanks, a front casting platform, rear casting platform, Minn Kota as well. And then for comfort and ergonomics, it's got a very big helm capable of taking big electronics with a very big helm seat behind it. Could easily fit two people on. And a neat feature on the Rabalo Cayman 206 is the rear fold down seats. They fold flat, giving you a small casting platform in the back for more fishing space. So, um it's got power everywhere, the Honda motor being a four-stroke. Um, and yeah, you can scoot along at um, 40 to 50 knots and uh, does it easy. Rides really well. But it's more than just a fishing boat too. It's a great all-rounder, it's a great little family boat. It's a great lakes boat, offshore boat, anywhere boat, but a really nice sweet water boat. For the lure cast, the fly fish, but it just does it all. And the amount of accessories and convertible platforms, storage, live bait tanks, eskies, it really just gives you a complete package on the water. I love the Rabalo Cayman. Okay,